over my shoulder is a little bit of U.S. field hockey history. Behind me is the Division III Rhodes College field hockey team, the southernmost field hockey team to make an NCAA tournament in the last 30 years, and the first from the state of Tennessee. For a sport with its roots in the Northeast U.S., this should be an unusual story, but it really isn't. The University of North Carolina won three straight national championships in the 1990s and remains a powerhouse today. Wake Forest University won three straight national championships in the decade of the 2000s. Now, one of the more unusual stories in NCAA field hockey history was when Pfeiffer College down in Misenheimer, North Carolina, won the Division II National Championship in 1981. It was the southernmost team to ever make an NCAA tournament until a small liberal arts college in Memphis, Tennessee decided to take up the sport. Well, it's been 14 years and uh, there were uh, one school in Tennessee and three in Kentucky that had uh, hockey and uh, we were looking for uh, some additional women's opportunities and had some students and our student body had played in high school and we just thought it'd be a good fit and it's been uh, uh, probably the best uh, new program that we've started at the college in the last 30 years. In 2010, Rhodes was able to parlay its 17-1 record into a berth into the round of 16 of the NCAA Division III Championship. I think that is awesome. I mean, right now I think we have 159, close to 160 teams, and we're growing. There was that time several years ago when they thought, oh, field hockey is going to kind of die out because in so many places they were switching women's soccer to the same season. And we just got some diehard field hockey players. And with the, with the inception of futures, uh, and I mean, the girls have a passion for the sport that they play. And that's, I think that's one of the reasons that our girls are, because they, they just have a passion for field hockey. That passion was certainly evident in 2010. Jane Wells has done an extraordinary job in taking this polyglot of players, all transplants from other areas of the country, and molding them into SCAC champions. We, we haven't had any trouble convincing uh, good players from New England, New York, the D.C. area, Chicago, to uh, uh, come to Rhodes and uh, help us uh, have a great field hockey program. But in 2010, Rhodes College had the misfortune of running into the defending national champions from Salisbury State University in their first ever NCAA field hockey game. Uh, we're just we're really proud of uh, Coach Wells and our program. It's uh, quite an accomplishment to go 17-1 and to reach the NCAA tournament. We learned today, playing an outstanding Salisbury team, and uh, we'll be back, and uh, uh, next time we'll, we'll get a win in the first round. And if Clary has his way, the SCAC will have quite a few more teams in the Deep South coming soon. I think there's some awareness in the Memphis area about what our team has done of being uh, involved in the NCAA tournament. It's certainly an opportunity there. Also, uh, within our league, uh, Hendricks College in Arkansas, which is near Little Rock, uh, started uh, hockey at Birmingham Southern, and Birmingham has uh, inquired about it. So. Uh, I think you're going to see some growth uh, in our league uh, in the sport, which I think would be great uh, for our part of the country. The 2010 season was the culmination of a long road for the Rhodes College field hockey team. It's not known whether this particular team is going to be able to create opportunities for those looking to pick up the sport in non-traditional areas of the United States, but given what's happened in lacrosse and other sports the last few years, anything is possible. For TopOfTheCircle.com, this is Al Matei in Grantham, Pennsylvania.